Hi, and in today's Microsoft Word tutorial, I'm going to quickly show you how you can type vertical text in Word. Hi, and in today's Microsoft Word tutorial, I'm just going to quickly show you how you can write vertical text in Word. So the easiest way to do it is to go up to the Insert tab, go along to Text Box, click on the drop down and select Draw Text Box. Then just simply go ahead and draw a random text box. Then if you just pop in your text, I'm just going to put in some random text now. Okay, so once you've got your random text, all you need to do is to go ahead, select the text, and then ensure that you're on shape format. If that doesn't appear, it's because you haven't got your text box selected. So if I click off, you can see it's disappeared. Just click on the text box again, and it reappears at the top. Just go ahead and select all your text. You can press Command or Control A on your keyboard, which will select it all. And then go up to this text direction icon here. Click on the drop down, and here you're given three options. Obviously, you've got the horizontal option, and then you've got rotate 90 degrees or 270 degrees. Then just select the one you want, and as you can see, your text has automatically turned round. And then you can just stretch out your text box and reduce the size of your text box, and then you can move it round. Now, there's a couple of problems with this. The first thing is if I click off, you can see we've got a border here. So if you want to get rid of that, just click on the text box again, make sure you're on shape format, and then just go along to this icon here, which is all about the outline and borders, and then just go down and click no outline. Then when you click off, then you can see that your text is on its own without a border. If you actually want the text to run where the letters are on top of each other, you just go ahead, select all the text again, then go back up to the text direction icon and select horizontal. All you need to do now is just reduce the size of your text box and as you do so you'll see that your text will then line up. All the letters will be on top of each other. Now the problem with this is that you have to go to the end of each word and then click on the spacebar twice to then introduce a space between your words. And again, this is fine if you only want a couple of words, but obviously if you want a whole full sentence, then it's going to be quite time consuming. So there is another way to do this. If you go to the Insert tab, click on Table, click on the drop down, and then select the number of rows that you want for each of your letters. Now, if there aren't enough here, this only goes up to eight here. Let's just undo that. If you go to Draw Table, uh, sorry, insert table, and then you can select the number of rows that you want. So let's say, for example, you had a sentence where you wanted 12 letters, then you just pop 12 in there, and you just want one column, and select OK. When your cursor changes to the double-ended arrow, just click and drag over to the left side, and then type in the letters that you want, and then you can just highlight the table, go up to Table Layout, and then you can manipulate the size of these cells, the heights, the widths, and also the letters. So if we wanted to increase the height of these cells, then just go along to this icon here and just click the up or down arrow. And as you click up, you will see those cells beginning to increase in size. Then if you want to put the letters in the middle of those cells, then go over to these icons here and click in the middle, and those letters will become centred. If you want to get rid of the borders, you just want the letters on top of each other, then just go to Table Design, go along to Borders, click on the drop-down, and select No Border, and then you'll just get the letters on top of each other. Again, if you wanted to change all the lettering, then just select the entire table, go to the Home tab, and go along to all these font icons here. You can increase the size of your font here and you can change the colour of your letters as well here. The other advantage with using a table is that you can actually change the background colour. If you highlight the table again, go up to Table Design and along to this icon it says Shading, click on the drop down and then you're given all these colour options here that you can change the background so that your words and letters stand out. If you wanted to move these letters and tables around. Sometimes moving tables around can get a little bit clunky as you can see. So 
if I'm going to do something like this with artwork and tables, what I tend to do is go to the Insert tab. Let's just click off that a minute. Go up to the text box, draw the text box, and then actually select the table. So I'm going to copy that table, click inside my text box, so my cursor appears, and then paste. And then I can delete this table here. So then all I need to do is just reduce the size of my text box. And then I, again, I've got a border at the moment, so if I click on that text box, go to Shape Format, and go to the Outline tab, click on No Outline. Then what this means is that I can move this table and therefore my letters anywhere in my document because tables can be a bit clunky when you're trying to move them around. And this will effectively be the same as using a picture or an image in your document. Now don't forget that you can manipulate this around text by using the wrap text icon which is in shape format. Click on the drop down and you've got a number of different options here that if you want your text to go around the writing or just above and below the writing then obviously you can use any of these different options. And then the final option you've got of course if you want to use word art um, and some slightly more creative text go up to the insert tab, go along to word art, select the different word art that you want and again just highlight the text as we did before and under shape format go down to the text direction icon again and then you can just rotate your text as you need to. Once you've done that and you're happy with it, of course you can go up and align text if you've introduced something else where your text box is slightly bigger and you want the outline and then you can just center your text wherever you want to. Don't forget you can also rotate this as well to suit your needs. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please subscribe and have a great day.